Feeling safe, being safe. Taking the steps to feel prepared and be prepared during a disaster or emergency. Hello, my name is Robert M. Taylor. I'm a member of the California Department of the Developmental Services Consumer Advisory Committee. We are a committee of advocates for persons with disabilities who have researched, field tested, published books, and made videos to help people take charge of their lives and be prepared for an emergency. Feeling safe and being safe during an emergency situation is the right of all people. A basic right is to have access to medical care, food, shelter, and help with their immediate personal needs from local community resources during a disaster or emergency. In our local communities, an emergency or disaster can occur at any time, anywhere, to anyone. These emergency situations can be caused by natural disasters, such as floods, hurricanes, or earthquakes. Or they can be epidemics or acts of war. Everyone needs to be prepared and ready for an emergency. Yet persons with disabilities, the elderly, single parents, individuals living in group settings, the homeless, those in hard to reach areas, and others are challenged in finding ways that will help connect them to resources and supports during times of immediate need. Being prepared in a disaster or emergency can help you feel in control and keep you safe. It can also help you communicate what is important for others to know so they can assist you. The Feeling Safe, Being Safe worksheet and magnet can be personalized to where you live and what type of emergency your area experiences. People in many states are now using the tools and adapting them to their specific needs. In this video, you will see Sam create a personal plan using Think Plan Do. Sam thinks about what is important in an emergency, makes a plan to be shared with others, then takes action, do, completes the worksheet, magnet, and puts together a personalized emergency kit. Feeling safe, being safe, is for all people. Remember, with preparation, sharing, and support, you can feel safer in an emergency or disaster. My name is Sam Durbin. This is the story of how I used Think, Plan, Do to create a plan to be safe and feel safe. I began the think, plan, do process thinking about why it is important for me to feel safe at home. It's important for people to be prepared because if there's a major disaster, they need to take care of themselves until somebody can come. They need to not be in a position where they don't have any food or the gas pipes are busted and they don't have a flashlight or a radio to find out where they can go because of a, a flood or any kind of a disaster. 
They need to be prepared at all times. Being safe means I know how to take care of myself and not be afraid. If I create a plan to help me feel safe, I will be prepared and not have to worry. I will be calm and be able to follow the steps to take care of myself in an emergency. I began thinking about what I need to do to take care of myself. I thought about the different things people need to know about me. My health, my medication, my glasses for reading, and my dog. I also want people to know how to talk to me when there is an emergency. I want them to explain what is happening in a quiet, gentle voice. Other people may want someone to speak slow and clear. I also need help making my own plan to help me feel safe. With my goal set, I began to create a plan to look at ways to be safe at home using my community resources, my neighbors, and developing my own personal safety plan. I began by filling out my Feeling Safe, Being Safe worksheet. I learned that I needed an emergency kit to put my important items in. I also discovered that there are very important items I need just in case I have to leave my home. I would put these items in my kit. I also need to know who to call in case of an emergency. And ask where to go if I had to leave my home. I need to get to know my neighbors so I can call them if there's an emergency and I need their help. I also have a friend at work that I can call an emergency. By creating my plan, I know that I will be able to practice and be prepared for an emergency. I would also be able to tell other people how to help me. Do. I took action by creating my plan. I made a list of things I need to put in my kit, a list of all my medical conditions, medications, insurance, and some money. I put them in a plastic bag so they don't get wet. Other things to include in my kit are food, water, eyeglasses, flashlight, whistle, radio, and emergency supplies. I put all of my emergency items in the kit and placed it by the door so that it will be easy for me to take if I have to leave my home. I asked my neighbor to exchange phone numbers so we can help each other in an emergency. I made sure I knew how to call 911 and ask the person where I needed to go if I could not stay in my home. 911, what is your emergency? I also would turn on my radio or TV to find out what I needed to do. I asked my friend to help me fill out my magnet and put it on my refrigerator for everyone to see. I want people to know how to help me. If you feel safe, that means, uh, that means you're prepared. You can't feel safe without being safe. And there's just no way. Think, remember, think about what is important to you in an emergency and how people can help you. Plan, remember, making a plan helps you create the steps for what you want. Do. Remember, taking action is the way to get what you want and ask for help if you need it. Lots of people use think, plan, do. 
Here is our friend Dan. He used think, plan, do to create his feeling safe, be a safe plan. Think. Dan wants to make sure he is living a safe life. This means that he is not in danger and will get help in an emergency. Plan. Dan decided to create his feeling safe, being safe plan. His plan includes how to work his wheelchair, the items he needs to have in his kit, and the people he will call for help. Do. Dan filled out his magnet. He placed it on his refrigerator. His plan helps people know how to help him with his wheelchair and medical issues. Remember, not being prepared can put you in danger. Not sharing your plan means no one will know how to help you. Not practicing your plan can make you feel unprepared and worried. Have someone help you fill out your magnet and worksheet and gather the items you need for an emergency. Practice your emergency evacuation. This means how you will leave your home in an emergency. This will help you learn what to do when you have to leave your home. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Remember, feel safe and be safe. Thank you.